Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry, how I ball Gosha garments and a white three on my body I'm an icon, man And my girl about a ten I should fuck her in the best Make it say Good YouTube, it's your boy JR Back at it again with another 2K video Today I got something real simple for you guys I've been saying I'm gonna do this for a while I'm just gonna release the drill moves that I use um, that I believe are the best ones for a sharpshooter or actually any other type of build. Um, a lot of these moves I like a lot. They help get my dude open. As you guys know, I'm a shot first, shot second. So my dribbling really isn't that high. But a lot of these moves, I've gotten some ankle breakers off of them. Real simple. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I use, what I believe are the best dribble moves for a sharpshooter or any build now I didn't find all of these dribble moves um, some of these drill moves I actually got from Steezo um, I've seen and then I also got some from badge plug I also found my own so I mixed them all together and got you know tested out some and you know came out with the best combination so real quick before I show you that guys what I have here uh, please hit that sub button if you're new I do 2k and PUBG content I've also started doing uh, blackout content as well I just got done um, streaming that so I appreciate EMA that came through for that but yeah man let's just go ahead and get right into it here all right guys so um here's a list of my drill moves uh for my moving crossover I use um normal three I tried out normal one and pro three um you can try out any of these but I like normal three the best just because it's quick and I've actually snapped off some ankle breakers on this as well um so I believe that's the best one that's the one I use for my guard uh behind the back I use Pro 3. Um, this is my favorite one. I know that you have to push back on the stick a little bit before you get close to the defender or he won't do it. But I like it because I can come down the court and I can go behind my back and then I can like change the direction I want to go while I go on behind my back. And I, don't, I really like it. It's my favorite one. Um, I tried out Pro 3 and Normal 1. Um, these are pretty good as well. I would... Pro 1 is good, but I don't know, I didn't really feel like it, it went well with the way I want to play. I know if you're a dribble god type player, then Pro 1 is a really good one. But yeah, man, that's what I use for that. Uh, moving spin, you have to go with Pro 4. The reason I like this one... Yeah, okay. Pro 4. The reason I like this one is you can actually change what direction you want to go and this is the animation that you use to do like the half spin a lot of people a lot of like you like people who can dribble extremely well with that type of archetype they will do like a momentum half spin and then they'll like half spin come back to the three-point line go behind their back again and it's really a good move i'm still trying to master it my dude with him being a sharp he's not i don't know it's not very effective i'm still trying to master it but yeah you definitely gotta go with pro four i believe that's the best spin uh, movement hesitation. I've been using Pro One. I don't really use this a whole lot, but I'm actually thinking about switching back to Pro Four because I like getting that animation where you hoss back some. Pro One, you don't really get that. So yeah, I would recommend going with Pro Four. I don't know why I haven't been using that one. Uh, the size like combo, I do Pro Eight. The reason I like this one is because like you can go behind your back and then you can kind of get a speed boost out of it. So whichever direction you want to go, the ball goes in both hands. So if you want to go left, just wait for him to dribble to his left hand. If you want to go right, you know, wait for him to dribble his right hand. This is good if you're waiting for a screen or something like that. So I like Pro 8. I haven't really tried any other ones. I tried Pro 6, but for a sharpshooter, I believe Pro 8 is the best way to go. The moving size up combo. All right, this move right here is the moving size up combo. This is the one that I want to tell you guys more about. So I like this one a lot because, like, after he does the little between the legs behind the back, he pauses for a second, and this is really good for me because I can like kind of get a speed boost out of it after he does that. After the pause, like you can either go right or left depending on which way the defense is playing you. And it really helps for me to get open, especially if, I, if I'm waiting for a screen to come. So yeah, Pro 3 moving size up combo is the way, way to go. Uh, park size up combo, of course I can't do that because I'm a sharp first. Uh, size up packages, I use Pro 4. And I like this one a lot because you get that little hop. You'll see it here in a second. Like you get that little 
fast hop and whenever you do a step back. So I like all of these animations. So I use Pro 4. Uh, size up, I use D Lillard. I like that one just because you get some space and you get that little hop back which creates space for a three. So I like D Lillard. Uh, crossover, I like I like Chris Paul a lot and that first move that like that move you see right there. I like doing that a lot, like if I'm hiding behind a screen or if I'm just going one on one. That little like hezzy crossover creates space for a three as well. So I really like doing that. It's my favorite one. Uh, size up between the legs. I don't do this a whole lot. No, the behind the back I do a whole lot. So the behind, like the between the legs behind the back, is probably my favorite move. But as you can see, after he does the between the legs behind the back. He like scoots to whatever direction you do it to, and I swear this gets you so much space if you're trying to get open for a three. So this is one of my, this is probably my favorite move right here. Definitely try out Trey Young. Um, Jamal Crawford's a pretty good one too, but it doesn't create as much space if you're trying to get open for a three. So Trey Young is definitely the way to go. Then size up behind the back, it's kind of the same thing um, as the between the legs behind the back. It creates a lot of space as well. You can see he scoots as he does it. So that can get you open for a three. So that's what I use right there. A triple threat. I use a normal two. I don't, I hardly ever use, do this at all. So I don't know. There might be better ones out there. Um, triple threat size up. I use Pro 8. And again, I don't really do this a whole lot either. But I just turn it on Pro 8. All right, guys. So yeah, that's all. That's all the drill moves that I use right there. Like I said, I'm no dribble god or anything like that. But I try to keep it simple, and I just use these moves that help me get open for threes. Because like I said, I'm a sharp first, shot second, and a lot of these moves create a lot of space. They help me to you know get open shots. If you enjoyed that vi this video, please hit that like button. It really helped me out. Hit that sub button if, if you're new. I have a lot more content on the way, and I stream just about every single night. Um, I really appreciate any support. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have any drill moves for me. And then I will definitely see you guys. Thank you for enjoying it. Thank you for watching this video and watch one of these other ones as well. Thank you. Peace.